right so next let's move on to the third problem which goes like this okay so if x of t has x of j omega as the fourier transform find the fourier transform of the following signals okay so this what is this x1 of first signal is x1 of t equal to e power j 2t x of t here we just check the properties of, of the fourier transform so which property is this this is looking like e power j omega not t x of t so that is nothing but frequency shifting property and hence this flow will have x of j omega minus 2 as the Fourier transform okay so first question is a bit easy one next let's talk about the second one so second signal is x2 of t which is defined as x of 2t minus 1 we want to find the Fourier transform of this flow so let's define first the intermediate signal as x2 1 of t which is x of t minus 1 so this flows Fourier transform would be x2 1 of j omega which would be equal to x of j omega multiplied with e power minus j omega but we don't want for this fellow right we want for which fellow x of 2t minus 1 okay so let us write x2 of t now so what is x2 of t that is nothing but x of 2 1 of 2t correct so wherever there is t replace with 2t so according what will happen to the Fourier transform x2 of j omega is nothing but uh, what property are scaling time scaling properties that should be 1 by 2 times x2 1 of j omega by 2 so x2 1 of j omega is this in this one we should replace omega with omega by 2 so what would be the answer that should be 1 by 2 x of omega is there replace it with omega by 2 here also we have omega replace with omega by 2 so that would be the Fourier transform of which signal x of 2t minus 1 okay right next let me take a third example which is here x3 of t is given by e power minus 2jt multiplied with x of t by 2 plus 2 okay right so let us try to find Fourier transform of this signal so first let me define the intermediate signal x3 1 of t which is nothing but x of first step is shifting right so x of t plus 2 that flow will have x3 1 of j omega as the Fourier transform which is e power j 2 omega x of j omega that is time shifting property next we have for x of t by 2 so let us write down that as x3 2 of t okay which is nothing but ah uh, which is nothing but x of or I will write it as x3 1 of t by 2 x3 1 of t is this so we have to replace t with t by 2 so that should be equal to x of t by 2 plus 2 so this fellow will have what as Fourier transform this is looking like a time scaling property what is a it is 1 by 2 so you will get 2 times x3 1 of j 2 omega means in x3 1 of j omega replace omega with 2 omega so this should be equal to 2 times e power j omega is replaced with 2 omega you will get e power j 4 omega x of j 2 omega we have to replace omega with 2 omega okay so we got Fourier transform of which signal x of t by 2 plus 2 but we want Fourier transform of this whole signal so what is our whole signal x 3 of t equal to e power ah, so th th this fellow is what we forgot so this is nothing but our x3 2 of j omega correct that is the Fourier transform of x3 2 of t which is x3 2 of j omega okay let us come to the final step which is we want Fourier transform of x3 of t which is e power minus j 2 t multiplied with x of t by 2 plus 2 but that is nothing but x of 3t 3 2 of t e power minus j 2t 
x of 3 2 of t so this flow will have what has fourier transform here what property we have to use shifting in frequency domain so that should give you x3 of j omega which is nothing but x3 2 of j omega plus 2 means what wherever there is omega replace with omega plus 2 in x3 2 of j omega what is x3 2 of j omega this term so in this we have to replace omega with omega plus 2 so you will get e power j 4 times omega plus 2 multiplied with x of j 2 times omega plus 2 so this would be the Fourier transform of this whole signal which is e power minus j 2 t x of t by 2 plus 2 that flow will have 2 times e power j 4 omega plus 2 x of j 2 omega plus 2 as the Fourier transform. Note that similar problems we have already seen when we talked about those properties. Okay. Okay. Next, fourth question, we have to find the Fourier transform of real part of x of t. So, this is easy, right? So, what is x4 of t? x4 of t, how do you find real part? That is nothing but x of t plus x star of t divided by 2. Okay, that is real part of x of t. This flow will have what is Fourier transform here? We will use linearity property. So, x of t will have x of j omega and what about x star of t when we talked about conjugation properties we have proved that x star of t will have x star of minus j omega as the Fourier transform but clearly what is this fellow here this is x of j omega plus x star of minus j omega by 2 which is nothing but conjugate symmetric part of x of j omega so real part of x of t will have conjugate symmetric part of x of j omega as the Fourier transform okay right next fifth one so fifth question is even part of x of t that also is easy so what is x phi of t here even part of x of t is nothing but x of t plus x of minus t whole divided by 2. So, this flow will have what has Fourier transform? x of t will have x of j omega plus x of minus t will have what property? Time reversal. You will get x of minus j omega divided by 2. So, definitely this is what? x of j omega plus x of minus j omega by 2 is what? That is nothing but even part of x of j omega so what does it mean even part of x of t will have even part of x of j omega as the Fourier transform okay next sixth one so sixth one we want the Fourier transform of conjugate symmetric part of x of t what is conjugate symmetric part of x of t that is also easy right so x6 of t equal to you remember here how do you get conjugate symmetric pro conjugate symmetric part of x of t that is x of t plus x star of minus t by 2 so this flow will have what has Fourier transform x of j omega plus uh, x star of t will have x star of minus j omega but we have x star of minus t so you will get x star of plus j omega by but what is this this is nothing but real part of x of j omega so conjugate symmetric part of x of t will have real part of x of j omega as the Fourier transform this I will leave it as homework and eighth one also I will leave it as homework because we have already seen this conjugate symmetric part we have seen conjugate anti-symmetric part is similar to that okay